Good morning, Pastor Larry Allison here, Gospel Light, Free Will Baptist Bond here, Missouri. Uh, glad you've joined us on this Saturday morning. We've uh, been looking at the prayer of Jabez all this week, and we're going to kind of close this out uh, this morning. So be turning to the book of First Chronicles. We're just, this is the only verse we're going to read this morning. First Chronicles chapter four. First Chronicles uh, chapter four. Uh, I'm going to finish out the prayer of Jabez. It's been a good week. We've uh, we've looked at quite a bit, really. Uh, we've learned that this was not a selfish prayer, but a prayer that he wanted more of God so he could do more for God. Now, we're going to be kind of brief this morning. It's Saturday morning, and uh, we're getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the Lord's Day. Hey, tomorrow's Sunday. Looking forward to that. But let's look here at the scripture. Uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Um, let's read the whole two verses as we've studied this week. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And now we see the prayer in verse 10. Four requests. Remember, he, he prayed for four things. Is, he said this, And Jabez, calling on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldst bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and then thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldst keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me, and God granted him that which he requested. I like that. God granted him that which he requested. Now, two things stand out to me. We've already looked at the four requests. We've already searched them out very clearly. Uh, so let me just close this morning by saying this. The two th other things that stand out to me in this is, first of all, uh, God saw fit to record this in the Bible for our good. Nothing else really said about Jabez, but we find here two verses about the prayer of Jabez. And you know what? This prayer... God put him on the honor roll, didn't he? He made God's honor roll. <laughs> in fact, it said in that verse 9, Jabez was more honorable <clears throat> than his brethren. Uh, I don't know much about his brethren. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't say why. Uh, but it does tell us that Jabez was more honorable in the eyes of God than they were. Oh, they might have been praying people, but they didn't pray a prayer like this. Maybe their prayers was was more selfish. Maybe their prayers was more self-centered. Uh, or, or maybe they wasn't really praying at all. Who knows? But I know when, when Jabez prayed, God honored that prayer. God saw that it was a prayer that deserved uh, an answer, a, a prayer that deserved uh, the, 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 a, an answer for all four requests. And I believe God did that for him. Uh, the second thing that stands out in that uh, is simply the end of the that verse. And God granted him. Think about that. God granted him that which he requested. Now, remember, we also saw this principle over in the book of Matthew. Uh, Jesus saying, ask and you shall receive. Seek and it shall be given unto you. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Uh, I think we see that literally taking place here. In this Old Testament scripture, he requested four things. Lord, bless me indeed. Lord, increase, enlarge my coast. Give me more influence, more ministry, more opportunity to serve you. Lord, I want your hand to be upon me. I need your power. I need your presence. I need your help. Can't do anything without you. He realized he was totally dependent on God. And then we saw he also prayed that he would be delivered from evil. Keep me from evil. Keep me from the evil one. Keep me from evil influence. And then we finally see what is the outcome? Is there any fruit from this prayer? Absolutely. Because it says very clearly, very clearly, and God granted him that which he requested. Does that mean the Lord answered all four requests? It absolutely does. God gave him what he asked for. God granted him his request. I don't think like I don't think for a moment that God gave him one or two things out of that prayer and and then Jabez you're on your own. No, I think God gave him all four requests. And 
God granted him. God blessed him with an answer to his prayer. Listen, I think that can be the results and the fruit of us praying prayers just like that. Uh, with sincere hearts, in a spirit of humility. Remember what we said yesterday? Hey, with clean hands and a pure heart and a right spirit, with the right intentions, I, with, the, with the mindset that I want more of God so I can give God more. What more can I do for God? Uh, now listen, if you're not about serving the Lord and you're not about wanting to get closer to him and you're really not interested in about doing any more for God than you're doing now, uh, I don't suspect this week has meant much to you. But if you really want to get closer to God, and I hope that you do, and if you really want to make a difference for the kingdom of God, and I hope that you do, and some of you have lost loved ones. They're going to die in their sins and go to hell if we don't see them saved. Some of you have, listen to me, please. I hope you take this right. Some of you need more of God in your life. Some of you need more godly influence in your life. Some of you need to get back to being serious with God. I'm afraid some folks have kind of got slack because of all that's happened the last several weeks. Listen, please, what I'm saying. Some of you need more of God back in your life. And, and, and the consequences of you not doing that are pretty bad. We're talking about not only your own relationship with God, I'm talking about loved ones possibly dying in their sins and going to a devil's hell simply because you lost your influence or simply because you didn't get enough of God in your life. Well, I, I hope you're taking this serious. We all need more of God because we need to do more for God and we need more influence for God. I hope that's your prayer. And listen, if, if you really make this personal, and I hope that you do, what can you expect as an outcome? Well, I think you can expect to see God giving you the requests that you asked for. I think God will show up in your life. I think you'll see the power of God come upon you. And in some way, in some way, God will give you more influence and more opportunity and more open doors to do something for him. Oh, let's bring him glory. He deserves that today. God bless you. Hope, I hope this has been a blessing to you this week. I really, really do. I'm not sure where we're going next Monday just yet. Uh, I'll surprise you. <laughs> I think we're going to get off prayer for, uh, I think I'll come back to prayer from time to time because we need prayer. We need to bathe all that we do in prayer. Prayer needs to be a very, very important part uh, of our of our life. It really does. Our experience, our walk with God needs to be have much prayer in it. So I'll probably come back and we'll talk about prayer some more. But uh, I think Monday we'll change directions a little bit. And so uh, you'll have to join us just to see where we're going. Okay. Uh, but listen, tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's the Lord's Day. And uh, boy, I can't wait. Tomorrow's a special day. It's a day when the church assembles together. Praise God. Hey, join us. Gather with us. Uh, a lot of our church is back together now. We've, we've had some good crowds uh, last couple of weeks, especially. People are assembling back to the Lord's house. So we, we hope you'll join us. We're still being just as safe as we can. And we'll, we'll make the environment at Gospel Light just as safe a place as we can for you to worship. I tell you what, we need the Lord's house and we need each other. Hope you'll join us. Here's what we got going on tomorrow. Online, you can still catch our, a Sunday school class, adult class with Brother James Teasley. He's uh, teaching through the book of John. And by the way, he's doing a great job. You can catch that online anytime after seven tomorrow. Uh, anytime you want to watch it after seven, it's available. Okay. Uh, you can join us in the morning for worship, uh, nine o'clock service. We have another 11 o'clock service in the morning. So you've got two services in the morning. You can join us for one of them. Uh, six o'clock tomorrow evening, Sunday evening. Been having some great services. Tomorrow evening, the book of Acts. We're preaching through the book of Acts. We'll be in the book of Acts chapter uh, 13. Uh, Acts chapter 13. We'll be continuing that tomorrow evening at six o'clock. 
So looking forward to that. And then, of course, our midweek service Wednesday, I'll be preaching this coming Wednesday evening, 6 o'clock on Wednesday night also. So we're back to having some great services. We, If you don't have a home church, uh, everybody needs a home church. We, we hope you'll join us at Gospel Light uh, in the morning. I believe you'll be glad you came <laughs> and uh, we'll be blessed by the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, we in Jesus' name come to you. We thank you. You blessed us with a real good week of Bible study, the prayer of Jabez. And Lord, I pray that we've all in some way kind of been able to make that personal. There's some important things there that we need to be praying for. And Lord, we need to be praying for those things that we might be more and we might do more for you. Lord, you are worthy of our prayers. You're worthy of our service. And Lord, you are worthy of us just seeking your face. Uh, and wanting to do more for you. So God bless us, we pray. It's been a good week. And Lord, already we're praying for our worship tomorrow in the Lord's house, our morning services, our evening service tomorrow. Lord, we pray the Holy Spirit do a work of grace as we gather together as the church to assemble in worshiping you. Lord, bless now, we pray. Pray we may even see some visitors tomorrow. Pray for new faces. Lord, pray, send some folks our way that don't have a home church. Pray they'll join us. And, and Lord, it'll just be a great day in the house of God. Thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, and we really hope to see you in the morning. Have a great Saturday.